Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. So we started integration. We have found out integral integral of sum of trigonometric functions like sin x and cos x. Now let's try to understand what are the integrals of tan x, secant x, cosecant x and cot x in this brief session. So before that, let me step back a little bit, little bit and try to just recap how we found out the integral of sin x and cos x. Suppose I have to find out the integral of sin x. Now we know that integration is nothing but anti-differentiation. So if I want to find out the integral of sin x, I have to find out a function for which the derivative is equal to sin x. Now we know with our knowledge that the derivative of cos x is equal to minus sin x. That means can I say d by dx of minus cos x is equal to sin x. That means integral of sin x is minus cos x plus c. Similarly, same logic we can apply and we can prove that integral of cos x is equal to sin x plus c because derivative of sin x is cos x which works out very well. Now the problem comes when we have function like integral of tan x or secant x. We don't know really have any function for which we can say that derivative of this particular function is equal to tan x. So the approach of using anti-differentiation logic will not work out there. So we have to use another method which we have already gone through that is method of substitution. So we'll use method of substitution and especially this type of We will try to keep the function in such a way that we have derivative of the function divided by the function. Then we know that integral of that is nothing but equal to log of f of x plus c. So we will be leveraging on this particular formula to find out the integral of tan x, secant x, cosecant x and cot x. So we will try to convert the given function in such a way that we have derivative in the numerator and the function in the denominator so that we will take f of x equal to t. We will say f dash x dx equal to dt. So integral of dt by t is log of t or log of f of x plus c. So let's go ahead and try to find out the integral of these four functions. First let's take integral of cot x. Integral of cot x we have to find out. So as we said we want to use the formula f dash x by f of x. So I'll try to write down cot x as cos x by sin x dx. Now let us say sin x equal to t. Now what happens? If sin x equal to t, you differentiate, you will get cos of x dx equal to dt. So can I go back and say integral of cos x dx equal to dt divided by sin x is t. Now this is nothing but equal to log of t plus c. But we know t is sin x, so integral of cot x is nothing but equal to log of sin x plus c. Now what we have done? Cot x we have written it as cos x by sin x. Then we have taken sin x equal to t and we know the derivative of sin x is cos x. So we have converted the given function into the form of f dash x by f of x so that we can write log of f of x plus c. Now let's go to the next one. Integral of secant x. Now we have a problem because secant x is nothing but secant x by 1 and we know that we can't take 1 as a function because its derivative is 0. So we need to find out a trigonometric function with which we have to multiply both numerator and denominator in such a way that my denominator will be f of x and the numerator will be nothing but the derivative of that. So for that we will multiply with secant x plus tan x both derivative and the numerator. Now let us see what happens. We have in the numerator secant square x plus secant x tan x and in the denominator we have 
secant x plus tan x. Now if we take secant x plus tan x equal to t, if you try to differentiate, we will have derivative of secant x is secant x tan x plus derivative of tan x is equal to secant square x. So, can I write this whole thing with dx is nothing but equal to dt. So, it will become integral of dt by t which is nothing but equal to log of t plus c which is log of secant x plus tan x plus c. So, integral of secant x to find out we have multiplied with secant x plus tan x both numerator and denominator in such a way that secant x plus tan x becomes our function of x and f dash x or the derivative is there in the numerator. Then it comes into the form of integral of f dash x by f of x so that I can say the answer is log of f of x plus c. Now in the same lines let's try to get what is integral of cosecant x. Now can we use the same logic to find out integral of cosecant x? Again what we will do? We will multiply cosecant x with cosecant x plus cot x both numerator and denominator and we will take cosecant x plus cot x equal to t. If you try to differentiate we will have we know that integral of differentiation of cosecant x is minus cosecant x cot x and the derivative of cot x is minus cosecant square x dx is equal to dt. So, can we write it as now minus of minus cosecant square x minus cosecant x cot x so that the numerator becomes dt and the denominator is t. So, we can write it as cosecant x plus cot x. Now, we know this is nothing but equal to minus of dt by t which is equal to log of we have seen already log of 1 by t plus c that is equal to log of 1 by cosecant x plus cot x. We know that cosecant x plus cot x cosecant x plus cot x multiply with cosecant x minus cot x is equal to 1 or cosecant square x minus cot square x equal to 1. So, 1 by cosecant x plus cot x is nothing but equal to cosecant x minus cot x. So, the integral of cosecant x is equal to log of 1 by cosecant x plus cot x or minus of log cosecant x plus cot x or log of cosecant x minus cot x plus c. So, in the next session, we will try to see integral of some functions, special functions which are like which are like 1 by x square minus a square. How to find out the integral of this? Or I have 1 by a square minus x square or I have 1 by x square plus a square and the same type of functions with a radical or a square root. I have square root of x square minus a square or 1 by root of a square minus x square or 1 by root of x square plus a square. For these functions how to find out the integral that is what we will see in the next session. We will be using substitution and try to find out the integral of this function. So, I will catch you in the next session where we will be doing this. Thanks for your time and support. Bye for now.